uh, about that, Brian. Some of the best places to beat the heat this weekend just might not be an option. As our Ben Jordan reports, a number of local beaches are closed or could be closed because of high levels of E. coli. The only beach closed today along Milwaukee's lakefront is here at McKinley Beach, but just north up the shoreline, Bradford is under an advisory, meaning you could still get sick if you get in the water. We figured by beat the rush, come check out the beach. When temperatures climb into the 90s, as expected this weekend, there's nowhere Pedro Nolasco would rather be. You might get hot, but you'll cool off fast once you get in the water and get back out. But these bright red signs that read beach closed caught Nolasco's attention before he did just that at McKinley Beach. Obviously, a cold act could make you very sick. Yes, it's something to think about, especially when you have animals like myself. I have a dog and I got to make sure she doesn't go out there and get wet. E. coli has been a common problem along Milwaukee lakefront beaches this summer. South Shore Beach has been closed more than a quarter of the days it's been open. Today is McKinley's six day closed. Closures have been minimal here at Bradford, but a bacteria advisory doesn't keep many out of the water, including Mark Coleman and his son. It's a little cold at first when you first get in, but you get used to it pretty fast. While E. coli may be the last thing they think about as they splash around, precautionary measures await. As soon as I get home, I make sure me and him bathe, take a shower, wash down real good. For a direct link to the Milwaukee Health Department's daily beach water quality updates, find this story on TMJ4.com. Along the lakefront, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.